That's perfect. So, shall the fun begin? Uh, good afternoon. I'm Mati, I'm 18, and I currently attend third grade and third high school in Wrocław, in which I'm also a president of the Students' Council. My extended subjects are biology, chemistry, and maths, because I originally intended to obtain a medical degree. Yet, as the time went on, I found myself more and more interested in the topics of history, of architecture, and social studies in general. Uh, business is also something intriguing to me. Uh, frankly, I see myself as an entrepreneur in the future. Uh, I was even taking part in this year's e-converse. Uh, this is an event on which young people gather, are divided in groups, and are to come up with and pitch an idea for a startup. Last year, after quite some time, I put with swimming and athletics. Uh, I practiced middle distance running at KS AZS Wrocław. Uh, I still do both, but more for myself, uh, for health, uh, for relaxation. Uh, in winter, I ski, um, but, but it is a little bit too warm for skiing. So I'm just about to start how to, uh, just, I'm about to start how to start learning how to play tennis. Uh, probably next week, actually. Uh, instead of doing sports every day, uh, like I used to, I became more involved in projects for my community. I am, as I mentioned before, uh, the president of the Student Council. Uh, and we have recently, for example, carried out the project which helped to integrate over 1,500 students across the city. It was even awarded with a Golden Wolf by Zvolnini Story Foundation. I'm sure you are familiar with them. Uh, our project was chosen as the best technological one for the local community in Poland. The whole undertaking uh, gave me enormous feeling of self-fulfillment. It's something I think I have lacked a little bit before. As the student council, we organized a number of team days, school sports marathon for Wielka Orkiestra Świątecznej Pomocy and many other charity actions. We are also involved at youth congresses and other events of this nature. Mm, in my free time, I play piano, which should actually stand right next to me. But uh, as I'm changing to the new one, it doesn't. Uh, I also tried guitar, yet I failed miserably. Uh, I also love food and everything that surrounds it. But hear me out on this one and not just cooking or eating, um, but the nuances, the uh, culture behind it. Uh, Poland's development in this category in recent years have been truly astonishing. There are more and more local manufacturers and are obsessed with local products, mm, more culinary events, uh, and the importance of food in our culture is noticed by a wider group of people in general. Um, and I'm not talking only about the food itself, uh, but also the stuffish so to say. Wine, for example. Uh, Polish wines are getting better each year and are produced in larger quantities than ever before. Rostov itself is uh, surrounded by a couple of good vineyards that are worth a day trip to, to observe winemaking process and maybe to try some of them out. Um, I'm planning on taking WSET tests myself, so I will probably be a certified sommelier by the end of August. Um, I'm also constantly trying to expand my knowledge. I read a lot, uh, mostly nonfiction books. I love, for example, Weber Noah Harari. Uh, some press too, including The Economists or Rzeczpospolita from the Polish ones. I also attend additional university lectures about history, architecture, and sometimes science, but not so often. <laughs> I consider myself as social as one can be. Uh, I love spending time with my friends, uh, but I admire making new ones too. Um, sharing with them my thoughts, my ideas, uh, and acquiring a new, new perspective. Uh, with right people, this is probably the most developing thing one can do. And with that beautiful and I hope interesting statement, I will end my also presentation that I'm, I think, running out of time. Great, thank you very much, Maciej. Uh, Marzena, may I ask you uh, for your questions? I missed, uh, what was the project you you were working on and when you said that you would want to be an entrepreneur? 
Uh, excuse me, could you repeat? Uh, you're talking about the project for Econdos, as I. Um, I missed uh, during your presentation. You said that you 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 see yourself as an entrepreneur, and that you oh. were pitching for something. But I, yes. I missed that point. So I would okay. want to <laughs> to double check Elaborate what is a, what is the area of your interest. Uh, so I, with my team, okay, we came up with uh, the idea of um, of uh, the wardrobe in the cloud. So, uh, for example, when you are buying things on Zalando or Answer, you can't really see yourself wearing them. And uh, we wanted to take people's measurements and, uh, or actually, in the first place, uh, make them to put uh, put them in our uh, on our platform. And uh, by working closely with, uh, with, uh, for example, partners such as Sand or maybe from the Polish ones, I would say Answer and others, uh, and others like that, um, to uh, make uh, the clothes they are selling, um, to make the clothes they are selling um, available to see on the person with right measurements. You know what I mean. Okay, that's uh, uh, there is no need to elaborate a bit more about that. I mean, there were plenty of similar projects in the past, so. Um, but they all failed because. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, but I don't want to spend time uh, during this uh, uh, conversation about the project as such. Uh, what uh, do you think would you achieve by getting the scholarship, and what you what would you bring back? Uh, from uh, Silicon Valley uh, to Wrocław, your community, yourself? This is the question. So I think it is important to point out that I myself am taking part in this year's edition and uh, because of my friend who came back from the Silicon Valley last year, uh, Kinga Banel. And uh, she encouraged me to take part, saying that it really broadened her horizons and gave her a new, fresh perspective in life. And I wanted to um, experience that too, but also I wanted to bring back ideas and um, other things like this, uh, maybe uh, for my school, for my local community, maybe uh, bring back the prospects of um, cooperating with uh, other um, people that you are uh, getting into that you are you will be sending to california today for example wrote to me a girl from uh, 13th high school in warsaw from the stashes high school and um, suggesting a cooperation between the schools and i want to um do basically uh, similar things but with other schools in poland and i hope that your uh, your uh, scholarship will allow me to to do so also, uh, I think that uh, it would really widen my horizons, as I mentioned before. Um, to it would uh, maybe inspire me in some entrepreneurial way, uh, as the Silicon Valley is a huge hub for business, both big and small. And California itself is, I think, world, where the world's fifth largest economy by itself. Thank you very much, Mati. Uh, Dominika. Uh, thank you. Uh, Maciej, I heard that you first wanted to be a doctor, then you were inter interested in architecture and history and uh, now in entrepreneurship. So could you tell me what is your real interest and what you are really interested to see in, the, in California if you, if you went there? Okay, I think it is important to point out that uh, it's not like I used to be interested in science and then in history, then in architecture and now in entrepreneurship, but uh, more that I am acquir acquiring uh, new perspectives and new interests as I develop myself in life. And I think that's uh, kind of natural. So uh, now I'm sitting here combining all the uh, aforementioned. So history, architecture, and a little bit of science and entrepreneurship. Uh, I want to see in California, I think, just that, beginning maybe with a Trans-American uh, Tower that was, uh, that is uh, the Tower Pyramid, I'm sorry, the Trans-American 
pyramid uh, that is a tower in San Francisco. Uh, first, it was hate. It's now it's a you know, it's an icon. It's an icon of, for the uh, very beautiful city of San Francisco. And then I want to see the Silicon Valley, of course, uh, things that I was interested in as a kid. So maybe uh, Google headquarters. I hope I could talk with people who worked and what drove them to work for the best, to work for the biggest um, companies in the world, what they are actually doing and what advice could they give me or my friends who are uh, who don't really know how to uh, start uh, how to start uh, our careers and what to actually do with them. I wanted also to see how the uh, how the universities in California work, as uh, I am currently uh, as I'm currently thinking about studying abroad. And so, yes, I think just that. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Maciej. Uh... You know something about the University of Stanford? Well, I think so. Sure. So, Can you name me one one professor uh, of the university? I think I can name the most important person in this in the university's history, and the most important uh, person I think in California. Professor, I I don't want the history. Tell me the professor. David Julius, I think, is from Stanford. Okay. Uh, can you tell me something about him? Yes, he was a laureate for this year's Nobel Prize. Okay. Biology. Okay. Something more or you... uh, He, I think it was, pardon my English, because uh, I usually read this stuff in Polish. So I think he, um, he, not invented, but uh, found out uh, the uh, temperature and uh, the touch receptors in the human's body. Very, and, well. Uh, very hmm? well, thank you very much. Thank uh, you so much. If I may ask uh, Marzena for your feedback. Sorry, sorry, I had a problem with my computer. Um, I like the way you presented uh, yourself. Uh, I must say that uh, it's uh, you have a very eclectic, I would say, um, <laughs> interest. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is something uh, which, obviously, if you had a chance to get the scholarship and uh, if you had a chance to study in Stanford at Stanford, Stanford University, probably would uh, benefit uh, out of this. Um, I would uh, uh, I would advise you to uh, to look uh, carefully whom you might meet and uh, prepare yourself with uh, uh, with a, with a specific questions rather than the general ones because if you want to benefit of, out of scholarship it's it's good to prepare very well for such a trip. Uh, yeah. I, I I'm telling this from my experience because when I went for the first time to to web summit. I didn't know what to do because there were so many interesting places to go and people to meet. And uh, because of that, I probably lost half of the, the time uh, thinking about what I would do. And I would sh I should prepare myself before, before going there. So this is my advice for you as well. Thank you very much, Dominika. Uh, thank you, um, Mati. Uh, really uh, impressive presentation and uh, very interesting. I just one advice is similar to Majena. I think that you are a little bit like Leonardo da Vinci with the scope of the of the interest and and your. But uh, for this trip and for future career, the focus is needed, even if you want to. It's, it's difficult to expect that somebody will give anybody advice what to do next. You need to be a little bit focused what you want and then meet the right person and ask. So I would I would recommend to, to also to prepare, to focus and to be really, you know, uh, decisive. You can always change the way, the path, but it's good to have the first one. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, Maciej, once again, congratulations uh, 
uh, making to the second stage of uh, Green Tech Scholarship. Uh, uh, I hope we can see in the Silicon Valley, but uh, but of course uh, we cannot be sure because there are almost 100 uh, other excellent candidates. Nevertheless, you did, you did uh, very good. Uh, uh, all the best. Let's keep in touch. In two and a half weeks, uh, you, you will see results. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, thank you.